Welcome to another lesson series from ASVAB Tutoring. Before you start, make sure that you have a notebook and pen ready so you can write some very important information from the video and practice along with me that will help you to prepare for your ASVAB test. In this video, we'll go over 15 most common arithmetic reasoning problem that you might see on your ASVAB test. As you know, on the ASVAB test, you cannot use the calculator. So when I read the question, pause the video and then try to do by yourself and then unpause and see how I do. This 15 question will be very, very helpful for your PyCat, Pool ASVAB or CAT IB. As some of you might know, ASVAB tutoring help over 10,000 people with our one one tutoring program. So if you need a tutor, you could request the tutor from our website. And also you could download this application called ASVAB Prep 2025. It has plenty of practice tests that will help you to prepare for that test. It has also prediction test that kind of tells you if you're ready to take the actual test or not. So let's get started. Question number one, a plumber charges $45 for a service call plus $25 for each hour that he works at a customer's house. If he works at a customer's house for three hours, what will the customer bills be? So to do any kind of arithmetic reasoning problem, make sure that you read the question and fully understand. Many people in here, they just look at the numbers and then they try to do whatever they like to do. So just don't do it. So first read the question. If you don't understand the first time, read it again and then try to find the keywords. So you see here, plumber charges $45, right? So this $45 is a one-time fee. So many people get confused with this $45. So what you have to do first, you have to um, multiply three times um, 25 because he worked three hours the customer's house and then add $45 to it. So that gives you the total bill. So let's see. So here you could see here, if you multiply um, 25 times three, that will gives you 75 and then add $45 to it. That gives you um, $120. So that is the final answer. The correct answer is $120. Problem number two, Faith went to the grocery store to buy apples. If each apple cost 78 cents and she spent a total of $4.68, how many apples did Faith buy? So, you know, um, in order to do this problem, the first thing you have to do, you have to divide. So you have to divide the total money by the unit price. So let's see. So you could see here, you could see here, you could do um, you divide 4.68 by 0 0.78. So in order to um, divide decimal, so we we'll learn our videos that try to get rid of this decimal. So if you do that, um, 78 goes into 468 only six times. So six times 78 gives you 468. So the total number of Apple um, is six. So that is the correct answer. So the answer option is letter A. So let's go to the next problem. Problem number three, to reach his uh, tree house, Raymond must climb nine and one third feet up a rope ladder and then eight and five over six feet up the tree trunk. How far does Raymond have to climb altogether? So you could see here is altogether is a keyword. So um, that means you have to add them up. You have to add them together. So let's see how to do it. So, you know, in order to um, add fraction. So first thing you have to do, you have to make this a mixed number into improper fraction. So you have here nine times three is 27 plus one is 28 over three. Eight times five is um, 48 plus five is 53 over six. Now, what you have to do, you have to find the common denominator. So you remember that how to find the common denominator. You have to read the multiplication table. 3, 6, 9, 12, 6, 12, 
18 so what is the smallest common here is 6 so that is the uh, common denominator and then you just need to add the numerator so you did it that gives you 109 over 6 and if we divide that so let me divide it in here uh, 6 with 109 6 goes into 10 is 1 times is 6 subtract it you get 4 and then bring the 9 uh, down 6 goes into 49 is 8 times 8 times 6 is 48 and if you subtract it that gives you 1 and then make it to a mixed number that gives you 18 and 1 over 6 so that is the final answer problem number four approximately how many five and one quarter ounce glasses can we fill from 33 and one half ounce container of juice right so there is a keyword here so approximately that means you kind of have to estimate right so if you just use your common sense you could find the answer of this problem but we'll do it okay so let's see what you have to do so basically you are pouring um the juice from the container to a small small glasses that means you are dividing right so let's do it so if you divide it 33 and one half with five and one fourth first you have to do you have to make this mixed number into improper fraction so you did 67 over 2 divided by 21 over 4 so you remember the uh, division rule kentucky chicken fry rule that means keep whatever you have in the left side send the sign division into multiplication and then flip it so that gives you uh, when you multiply 67 times 4 is 134 and 2 times 21 gives you um, 42 and, and then if you simplify that gives you 6 so that is the correct answer so that is the answer for um, letter C next problem a carpenter earns $12.30 an hour for 40 hour week his overtime pay is one and half times his base pay he puts a uh, 46 hour work week right how much is his weekly pay so it's very interesting question and you might see this question over and over again if you took the uh, test um, multiple times so there are two things in here is a regular pay and a overtime so regular pay is 40 hours and then six hours is overtime and his overtime is time and a half of this number so that means you need to multiply by 1.5 to get his overtime rate so let this, let's do it so first what you have to do you have to find the 40 hour of regular um, pay which is 40 times 1230 that gives you 492 and then if you want to find the overtime you have to do 1230 times 1.5 that gives you 1845 and then you have to multiply that by 6 that gives you $110.70 and if you add them up that gives you um, $602.70 so that is the correct answer next problem problem 6 is here a restaurant rent is adjusted to the cost of living index the rent has been 21.50 a month and the cost of living index for this august was 3.7 percent what is the new rent per month so what do you have to do first you have to find the how much you have to pay extra and then you add to the original monthly rent that will give you the total rent right so let's do it so you have to do anytime if you multiply percent right what you have to do the percent you have to make this percent into a decimal that means you have to move always two decimal places from right to left so then you multiply 0 0.037 with 2150 that gives you 79 dollar and 55 cents so that is the raise after the adjustment and then you have to add this 79.55 with 2150 so that gives you total 2200 um $2,229.55 so that is the correct answer next problem the cost of a leather jacket went 
from 60 to 90 so 60 dollar to 90 dollars so what is the percent increase so in order to do this problem make sure that you fully understand the price went from 60 to 90 right so anytime you find a percent increase or decrease that will be based on your base pay right or base salary whatever you want to calculate uh, the percent increase or decrease so in order to handle this problem so let's do it um, the first you have to find the difference what is the price difference 60 to 90 so that gives you $30 price difference and this $30 price increased on top of 60 so many people get confused with this 60 or they should use uh, 90 so you have to use the 60 because the price increase or decrease based on your base pay or base salary or base price whatever okay so that gives you 30 over 60 that gives you 0 0.05 and if you want to make from decimal to percent you have to move two decimal places from left to right that gives you 50 percent so that is the correct answer next problem what is the reduced price of a 60 dollar raincoat after discount of 10 percent 10 percent and 30 percent that is a successive um uh, discount that means first you need to take uh, 10 percent off out of 60 dollar and then you have to subtract from 60 dollar then find another 10 percent of the remaining balance and so on and so forth so let's do it so first i did here is 60 dollar minus 10 percent of 60 give you six dollar and you subtract from 60 um that gives you 54 dollar and then the 54 dollar is the remaining balance so you have to find the again 10 percent of 54 dollar right so if you do that so you could subtract 54 with 5.40 that gives you 48.60 right so you have to take another 30 percent top of that right so that gives you um 14 dollar 58 cent and if you subtract from 48.60 that gives you 34 dollar and two cents so that is your final answer so pause the video first um after i read it make sure that you understand fully and then try to do by yourself and as always practice the problem multiple times the more you practice is better for your brain you will remember for longer time next problem if six is 23 percent of a number what is 50 percent of the same number the first you have to find the what is the original number so in order to do that what you have to do you have to make this percent into a decimal you see here so um 25 percent means 0 0.25 so the number is x so if you want to multiply with um 0 0.25 with x so that gives you six and if you simplify that you could do this way or you could just divide six by 0 0.25 that gives you um uh, 24 right so 24 are the original number and you have to find 50 percent of that number so you need to make this percent into a decimal so move two decimal places that gives you 0 0.05 and multiply with 24 that gives you 12 so 12 is the final answer the next problem bailey loaned robin 1500 dollar at a simple annual interest rate of seven percent if she pays the loan after two years how much would he um, have to pay so in order to do that problem you have to follow a rule called i equal to p r t so that is interest equal to principal times rate times time so let's do it in order to do this problem the first you have to do you have to make this person into a decimal so move to the two decimal places that gives you 0 0.07 then you have to find the total interest over two years so 1500 times 0 0.07 times 2 that gives you 210 dollar and then you have to add this 210 dollar with um 1500 dollar that gives you 1710 dollar so that is the final answer next problem on a trip you drive 350 mile at an average speed of 60 mile per hour and then return home driving at an average speed of 70 mile an hour how long did it take to complete the trip so what you have to do first you have to see how long it takes to get there and how long it takes to come back right so you have to step the problem same 350 miles so you have to divide 350 by 60 
and then 350 by 70 so then you have like two times and then you have to add them up so if you divide 350 by uh, 60 you get 5.83 and 350 divided by 70 that gives you 5 and when you add them up that gives you 10 hour and 83 so that is the final answer so that gives you 10.8 hours next problem in a group of 10 students 7 are 13 years old and 3 are 17 years old what is the average arithmetic mean um, age of this 10 student okay so arithmetic mean and average are the same thing so don't get confused with that so what you have to do first you have to find um, 7 of them 13 years so 7 times 13 and 3 of them are 3 times 17 so if you multiply that if you multiply those together and then divide it by 2 that gives you uh, 17 times 13 gives you 51 3 times 17 gives you 91 and when you add them up and then uh, divide it by 10 that gives you 14.2 uh, so the average is 14.2 years so that is the final answer so as I said again if you want to study more and do like more practice like that I did don't hesitate download this application from app store or google play and keep practicing okay if you still need help with our one one tutoring don't hesitate request a tutor we'll be happy to help you as you know as by tutoring help over 10,000 people um to pass the test with high school with all military branches army navy air force marine coast guard